So, uh, as long as you keep... <laughs> as long as you keep your... In current mode active, this shouldn't be a problem. Shouldn't be a, any, anything really shouldn't be, worry you a lot. Just look at this. Oh my god. After almost a full day of testing, I am confident enough to show you guys the things that increase the damage from the toxin clouds. One of the misconceptions about the dual in uh, dual Icar and Karn is that these deal too low damage or no damage. The damage is pretty decent, it's just hard to make it really good, but we can work around that. I have tried, if you watch the last video, tried Roar, tried Eclipse, tried Nourish, and also tried Zara's Whisper. I'm gonna say that Zara's Whisper is the best option. Other than that, there's only a couple things that increase its damage. It is unlike anything else you have ever seen. It's not even... it doesn't work some, with just like something like Contagion. Contagion works on its own way and this thing also works on its own way. Uh, it's not affected by Arcane Arachne. It's not affected by or has a too low chance of critting and stuff to be able to touch on that. Status chance I don't think it can be touched to, or at least I couldn't tell a difference between having, because I did try, having a lot of status chance mods, having a high combo multiplier. This thing also, it doesn't really snapshot how you would expect. It is real time in a way but it is it is real time like the Xena star disc but mods it is affected by mods in a weird way too what will increase the damage as far as mods goes uh, it kind of depends pressure points base damage pressure points bullet strike will affect the damage of the Toxin Cloud. If we're talking about a specific element that you're putting in, the thing completely changes because different elements, you can make the dot and the damage go up in different ways. Let's talk about gas. You won't, the things that increase gas damage is base damage and faction mods. So your Bane is going to be very important. So what we have is don't really even need a volcanic edge but i'm gonna get a uh, violent skirt but i'm gonna get into that uh, in a bit uh to increase the sick damage it's gonna be base damage and the bane and the element to form the gas other than that there is nothing really to increase your your damage uh, on the gas but that is the tick damage. There is also the cloud damage. Now the cloud damage is increased by your elemental mods. It's not, again, not really touched by your critical chance nor your status chance. It can crit, but it's such a low chance. And surprisingly, it's not affected by the Smita Kavat buff. It's not affected by Avenger. It's really hard to work with. The state is I've already talked. What else we can use to increase the damage is on our frame. Surprising enough, Theorem Demulcent increases your damage. And not only if you have any experience with these kind of arcanes and the residuals from the kit guns. It adds the damage to to the dual Icor Toxin Cloud too. If I'm using just like here, I'm using Residual Shock. It will add electricity damage to my Toxin Clouds, which actually are dealing gas because the way I modded. Now the other thing that increases damage is Arcane Fury and Blade Charger. Those are the damage increasing uh, factors for this. 
uh, I would use Fury and Blade Charger, the Molsent. Ah, it's really hard to work with. And you are gonna find inconsistencies when testing this thing in the Simulacrum because they say they got rid of the stealth multipliers in here. But if you attack, uh, if you attack, you, you summon the dudes, go into the closet, do any change and come back. When you're back, it's gonna deal stealth multipliers. So there is that. The way to make it work again is to kill everyone and spawn them again. It will fix. I found that out uh, kind of in an accident because I was testing this. And it should be dealing uh, around the damage from the, the, the toxin cloud is usually uh, yellow. And uh, I was usually getting around the... 3k 3357 if I'm not wrong and all of a sudden I was getting 26k and uh, that is definitely not right because I have to turn on the fine I thought there was like a bug or something going on and uh, I started to theorize in everything you guys can imagine from getting to a certain time multiplier to get more damage or anything like that and I just realized that it's something that's fucked you can see through 357 there. Now, let's get some, uh, get some procs. There we go. Six, seven, eight, nine. There we go. 7k now. And you can see the electricity there. Yeah, it works, but it's really hard to work with. I would say that I would probably wouldn't use this uh, for real. If I'm going for real and I'm a run to stay like a long time, I'm just not going to use that. It requires too many moving parts for me to, to be comfortably working with. I prefer to use blade charger have my Trumna with some more gas, and if I need energy for some reason, I'll have my Exhilarate because it works amazing with the Trumna. Uh, if not the Trumna, you can use... Uh, I had a weapon before, but it's kind of hard for me to remember. I was trying the Rota with it, just to keep the combo. Uh, you can use the Rota, but at the same time, it's good to have something on your melee, to, on your primary, to be able to properly kill stuff. So, yeah. That's really the power of this thing that I've... That I've the best I could manage to squeeze out of this thing. And I'm gonna leave you guys with... Actually, I let the video at the beginning. I am... I'm gonna leave you guys with a, a sample of the next video, which should be out very soon. Subscribe. Peace. It's about waiting and eventually going for a walk and just collecting the resources. Spend half an hour in complete chill. Almost 4k kills, not 5k kills here. And uh, yeah, time to go.